today intermediate weight training. It's going to be challenging. It's going to be maybe a little bit tough, but you got this. I have friends with me. This is Lisa, and she's going to help out. And this is Tiffany. Tiffany's going to be working the lower level of all exercises. So if you need a break or you need to modify, follow along with her. We'll start with our feet wide, hands to our hips, hamstring curls, right leg. Good. And through this workout, I want you to think about bringing your belly into spine arms. Really firm through your core, firm through your gut. We've got about 30 minutes worth of work, and you totally got this. What we're going to work through is weight training, which does lift your heart rate. And we'll sprinkle in a little bit of cardio. Hold side, reach, pull, pull. Trade sides. Pull. We'll do it one more time. Go. Pull. Other side. Pull. You're going to get some gnarly butt kicks in. Take it there. Arm rotations up, up. Take it back. If you need to march on a mod modification, go for it. Four, three, two, last one. Wide leg, lean. Waking up the waist. Breathe through it. Hands to your hips. Bend, bend. You're looking good. You should be breathy. Heart rate should be at about a mid-level. Eight more. Stretching the inner thighs. Six. Four more, four more. Just two. Last one, step your feet together. I want you to kick it out. Now more. Big kick, kick. Good. We will go back to this. So keep it in mind. For eight, seven, biceps next. Five, four, Three, two, one. Nice job. Now, think about your biceps weight. I'm going for fives. You may go for threes. You may go for eights. Feet parallel, hip width distance apart. Full range, 12, 10. So this is no longer on tempo. How's this feeling for you? Is it heavy enough? How's it feel? You like it? One more. Good, release. Take a breath. Take a deep breath. Think about if that was enough for you. If not, pick up the eights. If it was enough, back to the fives or even go down to threes. Let's do it again. Now this time I'm gonna add a little bit of movement. Lift. 11, 10, full range, all the way to shoulder head, full flexion, full extension. Anybody counting for me? <laughs> okay, there we go. Four, three, two, last one. You can put it down. Take a breath. Check back in with yourself. Was that enough for me? Could I go up? Am I challenging my body? Am I challenging my heart rate enough? What do you think? You want more? Or you're good. Okay, let's go. Last set. I'm going up, ladies. You do you. You do whatever you want to do. Opposite leg's gonna kick back. Lift. 11. 
10. Whoa, heavier you go, slower you move. Six more, make it count. Going to shoulders next. Four more. Two. Last one, nice job. Those are your biceps curls. So if you're processing shoulders, we're gonna be lifting forward with the weights. So I want you to think about maybe starting lower and building up. Let's go to threes. See how that feels in your body. Back to that foot stance. You're gonna come up, lift it up, drop it down, lift it up. Good, bend at the knees. Give a little bit of relief, that's three. Here's four. When we get to six, we're changing the position. One more. Now candlesticks. Lift it up, good. Check in. How's your weight load? As you're lifting and strengthening the front, sides, and back of your shoulders, is it enough? You got two more. One more. Good, put the weights down. How was it? Can you go up? Okay, let's go up. Now you can stay with Tiffany and keep with the lighter weights, or you can hang with Lisa and I, it's up to you. Palms down, lift. That's 12. Here's 11. Here's 10, how you doing, Tiffany? Nine. Eight, firm your belly. Here's a cue, push through your heels. Light up your glutes. One more, then we're flipping the palm. Turn it around. Candlesticks, good. Five, you've got four more. My heart's lifting, my heart rate is lifting. Two, last one. You can put them down or you can leave them in hand, it's up to you. We've got a cardio blast after this for 30 seconds, so get ready. Last one, feet parallel, hip width distance apart, bend through the knees, flex through your glutes, y'all. And let's go, pumps down, lift, 12. You've got 11, 10, breathe through it. Flip your palms, four, three, two, last rep, nice work. All right, I just want you to kick your butt. I just want you tight through your belly. Let's add the arm rotation back. Why am I doing this? Why am I lifting your heart rate right now? I want you to stay in that mid to high level heart rate through the entire workout. So every two sets, take it forward. We're gonna blast with some cardio. Not too much, just a little. Go four, go three. Just two, back rows. Heavy weight for Lisa and I. So I want everybody to turn to the side. And you're gonna reach your weights towards your knees. Bend at the elbows and draw your underarms, draw your arms back, then push it back down. Here's 11, 10, nine. With that lean over, you've got your glutes engaged. Six, squeeze your shoulder, blade, shoulder blades. Four, three, two. This is back work, y'all. Last one, stand tall, rest. So, back to the front, back to the front view. So what you're thinking about as you're lifting these heavier weights, you're inclining forward and firm through your core. Let's go again, girls. 12, 11, Gaze to the diagonal down. So I exhale on the hardest part of the work. For me, that's the pull back. Three more. Three, two, last one. Stand tall. You're looking good. I know you're starting to get sweaty. I know your heart rate's up. That's how you should be. That's exactly where you should be. Come on down. Let's finish strong. Pull, 
and down. Exhale, push out. Lift, push, lift, good. Don't stop for the last four. Three triceps are next. Two, last rep, weights down. So think about your triceps weight. When you're lifting biceps, you're probably gonna go a little bit heavier, but I want you to work two even triceps to biceps. So I want these muscles to be evenly strengthened. So I'm picking up fives. If you're just starting, you may be picking up threes. If you're advanced, you may be picking up eights. Back, that's 12. Here's 11. Notice my wide foot stance. That's gonna give me more support on the bottom. Now you can, Lisa, why don't you come to a more narrow stance, bring your legs together. That makes her body recruit stabilizer muscles. You got three more. Last one. Weights come forward and you release. So if she stands in a more, in a more narrow foot stance, she's gonna have to work harder to stay upright. If I'm wide footed, you see my foundation's wider. Back up. You've got 12. Here's 11. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. Here's nine. Eight, you need a modification? Seven, my back row is gonna stay what they're doing. Stay doing what they're doing, and here is a mod for you. A little incline chair posture. How many more? Three more? Two more. Still getting really juicy triceps right there. Last one, swing your weights forward. One more set. Then we've got a cardio blast, and we're gonna punch kick. But for now, arms up. Let's go, 12, 11, keep it strong. I'm sweating, how about you? Lisa, you sweating? Tiffany? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Come on. Two, one, weights down. Let's kick it out. So you can hop kick or you can step kick. You choose. But whatever you're doing, do it your best, y'all. Push, 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 push. Lats are next. My friends are gonna sit, I'm gonna stand. Four, three, two, one. All right, girls, lats next. Grab a medium to light set of weights and have a seat on a chair. I'm going threes. My friends are sitting and they may be doing threes or fives. Up to them. So you're gonna tuck your elbows into your side body, then push up, relaxing your shoulders, and then pulling back, squeezing your back. If you had, here's 11. If you had a pencil behind your back, you'd be squeezing that. There's nine. Go eight, tighten your belly. Seven, your spine is upright. Six. Five more, keep it strong. Four. I'm gonna go up to five on this next set. Two more. And one. Good, release. So, are you gonna go up or are you gonna keep? Oh, you started with fives, staying in threes. All right, let's go. 12 reps, push, 12, down, 11. Squeezing your shoulder blades, that part's important, so is the firm belly. So I'm giving you a couple options in standing or sitting. If you're sitting, your back is straight. Six more. This is definitely more of a challenge for me. Three more. Two, rest. Yeah, I felt it too. Yeah, she's done the threes, she's done the threes. And that's gonna happen as you progress as with your sets, you're gonna fatigue, that's how it goes, y'all. All right, so last set, 12 reps. If you fail, meaning you can't complete all the reps, that's okay, I ain't mad. Let's go, up. Firm through your core, draw your belly in. 
Don't forget that. Firm core is important. That means this whole workout, you'll be engaged and focused through the center line of your body, through your trunk. This is number five. How we doing? Are you gonna push through all the way? Six. Counting down, four. Three, if you fail, it's okay. Two. Yeah! Hit the, hit the mat. Your back is gonna be on the mat, head this direction, and we're gonna work chest presses. So come on, flat. Yep, that's right. Now your arms are in a cactus, like a goal post. And I want you to push the weights up towards the ceiling. Then pull them down and tap your elbows on the floor. Good, push it up. And pull them down. Here's four. Keep the work. Five, I'm moving my weight. Here's six, good. I'm going up to eight next because I can. <laughs> four more. How's it feel? Check your wrists. Look at your wrists, if they're broken, two, one. Good. Now, if you're switching out your load, do it now. I'm going eights, like I said. Uh, if you're advanced, I would go up. If you're just starting or you're injured through the shoulders or the neck, stay low. All right, back to that goalpost position. This time we're lifting our legs, friends. Push the small of your back into the mat. Tighten your belly. Good, drop back down. Check your wrist. Go nine. Go eight. Six. Five. Four. Two. Last one. Drop it down. Relax the weight. Take your feet down. Take a deep breath. You've got one more set. And then we're going to a cardio blast. So get ready to pop. Legs up. Go 12. Come on. Drop down. 11. You're doing great. 10. 9. Reach your feet away from your body. Eight, seven, push the small of your back in. This is major core work. Six, four more, girls. Three more. Just two. Last one, weights down by your side body. Roll up. Come on. Lifting up the core. We're going to leg work next. Good, so lift the legs. If you need to march, you can march. Make the choice that's right for your body. That's key here. We're going to around the world squat, and I'll tell you what that means. In four, in three, heavy weight, two, last one. Grab your heavy set. We're starting with your feet parallel and close together. For 12 reps, come on down. Now, if you cannot get your weight to the floor without rounding your back, then I want you in a squat position instead. A higher position, a higher squat position. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two wider foot stance. Last one. Your feet are about 11 and one. Your butt's gonna go back, weights to the center of your body. 12, 11, 10, eight, straight back, seven, six, lift your belly. Three more. Last one, horse pose. Also known as a plie squat. Load the creases of your legs. Shoulders over your hips, 
tight belly. 10, excuse me, 11, 10. Ha, sorry. You thought you were gonna get out of it. Eight, seven. Four, three, two, stay here. Stay wide. Your next work is inner thighs. We're gonna stay loaded. 12, 11, eight more. Sliding down an invisible wall. Last one, stand tall. Take a deep breath. Remember, I told you the breath cycle. Exhale when the work is hard. 12. Let's go. 11. 10. We've got jacks next. Yep. 7. You should be feeling this by now. For sure, for sure. 3. 2. You've got one more set of these plie, plie squats. Working the adductors. Five different muscles in the inner thighs. I'm even breathy. You should be too. Let's finish strong. 12, 11, 8, 8. Weights are going down in four, in three, just two. Last one, feet together. Now your inner thigh should definitely be feeling it. You should be feeling that work. Now, keep the jack or single leg jack for a lower modification. If you do not leave the floor, don't leave the floor. <laughs> right? Like, don't make instructors push you to do things you don't want to do, girls. Eight, seven, six, two, one. Feet together. Turn and face the side. We're going to a hamstring position. So I'll get in front of you so you can see. Weights right in front of your quads. Now come forward. Let the weights come down below your knees. Push and lift up. Go do it again. Lift up. You want your back as straight as it can be. I want to be able to set a T on your back. You've got two more. Now notice, I kept my heavier weights. I did that on purpose, last one. Stand tall. You can stay in that position, stay in that position. You're good there. Let me talk to you about why I kept the eight pound weights. I wanted you to be able to understand that the backs of your legs, hamstrings, need to be as strong as the quads. So we're gonna lift heavier for that. Come on down, dive down for 12. Now this time, slide your arms up. Push down, slide your arms up. Good, and down, lift up. Perfect, slide down, lift up. Come on down, lift, that's it. And down, belly tight. Really hinging forward as you pull. Four more, make them strong. Notice I made this compound by sliding up the delt raises. Three more. Two more. Use your breath. Last one. Lift it up, you've got to pause. You may need water. That might be what you need right now. Listen to your body me, or with Lisa, or with Tiffany, or with anybody else in the world, y'all. Okay, we're too old for that business. Let's go. Pick up the weights. Finish this last set, let's go. Glide it down the legs. Pull it up, let's go for that row, yep. And down for 11. You've got 10. Good, lift it up. Nine, yes. Look at her straight back. Six. 
Did I just skip numbers? Yeah, I did. But I'm not going to allow you to miss your reps. Now six. Now five. We've got lateral lunges next. Now four. Pull and squeeze. Now three. Now two. Don't you love this song? <laughs> or not? <laughs> and put it down, waist down. Here I'm gonna show you the work before we pick up weights. You're leaning through. Now notice my arms are behind me. When you're ready, pick up your weights, bring them to prayer, go right to left. You've got 12 sets. Here's 11. Your gaze is to the diagonal down. I know you're probably watching us. Go eight. Six. Four. Two. My heart rate's up. One. Drop it. So, you may feel it on your low back. That is normal because you're hinging forward, putting that strain there. If it's too much on your back, lighter weights for set two. Only one more set of these. So think about what you can do to make it your best set. Ready? Weights to chest. Good, and find the lunge. Work through it. Twelve more. Eleven. Cardio blast coming. Nine more. Breathe through it. I hear you, Tiffany. You should be breathing like that. Six sets. Four more. Three. Two. Last set. Last breath. Punch it out. Punch it out. You don't have to look cool. Doesn't matter. This isn't a freaking fashion show. Just get your heart rate up. Punch, y'all. Punch. We're doing low body. Nothing wrong with punching to get the upper body involved, right? Good. Keep the work. Push, push. We're so close. Almost there. Four, three, two, one. Pick up your heaviest set of weights for calves. Now, you have a chair. If you want the chair for assistance, you're welcome to grab it. Lift up. Lift up. Lift up. Lift up. Lift up. up. 15. 14, 13. If you're at home and you have a fireplace close, step on up to your fireplace. Nine, eight, seven. Ooh, our next exercise is gnarly. Four, three, Two, last one, lower down. I do believe that everybody who's taking this video, doing this video, can probably lift 16 pounds in a calf raise. If not, go down to five, five pound dumbbells. But I think you probably will be able to do this. Feet parallel, hip width distance apart. Shoulders stacked over hips, lift up. 20, 19, 18. Thirteen. Twelve. All ten toes press into the floor. Ten. Nine. Eight. You're a rock star. Don't stop. Six. Five. Four. You feel the burn? Three. Two. Good. Last one. One more set of twenty. And then we've got our, our chair hover, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm not sorry. Sorry I'm not sorry. You're sweating. <laughs> All right, let's rock. 
Come on, lift them up. Up, then down. 19, 18, 17, 16. I'm gonna have y'all take your chairs to the side of the mat. Just like we rehearsed. Oh, yeah, yeah. I feel it. <laughs> Anybody counting? Just kidding. Six, five, four. If you haven't noticed already, I'm sucky at counting. <laughs> One more. All right, drop it. Now, your chair uh, at home is gonna come to one of the edges of your mat. All right, so, my friends, I want you to step about six inches away from the chair. All right, hinge forward. Hands to prayer, you will be picking up a weight. Drop your butt to the, to the chair and then up. Oh Lord, we got seven. Pick up a weight now. Six. Five, yep, even you, yep. Four. So my elbows are connecting to my knees. Three. I'm gonna ask you to do something ugly. Two. Y'all just hover down, hover down. Pull your belly into your spine. Don't move. Four, three, two, one, stand up. All right, if you've got singles, pick up two. Cross them over just like we did for the uh, triceps. Drop your butt down, let's go. Eight, stand it up. Seven, six, your gaze is forward. Five, four, you get ready? Three, you know there's a hover, and two. Let's make it count. Come on, hover it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, up. One more, one more, one more. We're so close to the end. You've got core work and cool down, and we're done. We're almost there. Last set, let's get ready. Drop it down. Eight, come on, seven. Similar to a wall squat, six, five. This is for your quads, for your glutes, for your hamstrings. Three more, two more, y'all. Last one for the hover, let's go. Eight, seven, six, five. You're going to a plank in four, three, two. Regular plank, no chair plank yet, we'll get there. Take one weight, place it to the left side of your mat. All right, and come to a high plank. Hands underneath your shoulders, lift up. Now, with your right arm, reach under to the left, move the weight over. Yep, same thing other side. And alternate. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. Maintaining your hip position and your form is key in this, girls. So really focus on that part. Yeah. Keep it up. I know, hello. Make sure you're breathing. Almost there. Standing lateral lunges. We practice this in the warm up. It's coming soon. You've got four. You've got three. You've got two. You know you can drop to your knees. Last one. Walk your hands back. This is Liz, I love this artist. All right, go heavy on this. Especially if you want strong obliques, go heavy on this. You're gonna lean to your right and slide down two panes of glass. Like you're getting smushed from the front and smushed from the back. Understand? And you're dipping that weight down towards your knee. Keep your chest up over the hips. We're ending this workout, my friends, with a chair plank. And if chair plank's not your jam, you don't feel secure with that, you don't have to do it. You can take your knees, you can take a flat plank, a high plank on your toes, half plank on your knees. You can go head up to the wall and wall plank if you want. A few more, four, three, two, last one. Good, put the weights down. Lisa's toes are gonna go on the 
chair. My toes are gonna flat behind me in a high plank. Tiffany's going to a knee plank, half plank. Good, and just pushing into the ground. Firm through your belly. Now, squeeze your glutes. How are we doing, Lisa? Are your, are your hands under your shoulders? There you go. There you go, lift your belly. Good, your chin's off your chest, my friends. Stay here. So I say this when I teach uh, in fitness classes. Say this, you know, when you're working the mind and the body, the mind really has to take over in these instances, right? Like, you just have to commit to it and decide to stay in it. That's really where the, the magic happens, the, the strength happens. Three. Lisa, come on down. Two. Last one, downward facing dog. Yes. Good, walk your feet up towards your hands. Fold forward, just hang. You can grab your elbows if that feels good to you. So this will lengthen out your back and I know you've been doing a lot of low back work in that class. So it should feel pretty good to you. Bend through the knees, roll up to stand. Good, turn and face me. Nice side body lean. Side body lean. Two more. Your cool down does matter. Your stretching does matter. Good, two more. I'm gonna have you grab your chair and turn it around so you can use the side of the chair as support. So literally just turn this bad boy around. Quad stretch. While I have you here, I wanna tell you that you are just perfect the way that you are. You don't have to do anything to be any better. Can you work on your weight and eating better and moving your body safer? Heck yes. Can you work on soul work and being more grounded and more uh, focused, more intentional in your day? Heck yes. But you don't have to change anything about yourself right now. I want you to know that. All that stuff you see online, all of that calf stretch. All those girls who are all gorgeous and skinny and you know all the things. Like, that's all freaking edited, y'all. It's edited, it's fake, it's not real. You be real, you do you. That's what's important here. All right, let's put your chair around. Drop your shoulders, line your knees up, tighten your belly. Cross over, sit in. Now you saw me balance on the first side. You can do that if you want. You don't have to though. Chairs right here. Cast stretch. Feet back together, roll up. Inhale, big breath in. And exhale. Awesome job. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.